Hey y'all, thank you for clicking the video. In case you didn't know who I am, my name is Abby Grace and I'm about to do a hair tutorial for you. Last time I wore my hair like this, I got lots of compliments and people kept asking, how did you do it? So instead of explaining it to each and every individual, I decided to come on here and make a YouTube video. So here I am. First things first, I'm gonna take my hair down I use a wet brush. It's absolutely amazing. The bristles are super duper soft. Um, after I switched over to a wet brush, I could not go back to a normal brush because the bristles are like so daggone hard and they hurt your head. I typically do my hair on this side of my head. I'll do my buns on this side, my braids on this side, like it's all usually done on this side. So to switch it up and do things a little bit differently, I'm going to attempt to do my hair on this side. So I'm going to do a bubble braid going this way and into a bun. I'm going to crimp a little bit of my hair. I use a bed head crimper. I got this off of Amazon actually. It was like $20 and let me tell you it has literally been a lifesaver for me if you have thin hair or if you have really straight hair if you have really silky hair and you don't have much texture to your hair hence making it difficult to style it highly recommend a crimper this is just to make my bubbles thick I'll apply it at the root like that to squeeze it for a couple seconds, bring it down, squeeze it, bring it down. Look at that, you can already see the texture happening. It's pretty quick. Probably won't do all the way down, just about to there. Do that and then I'll take another section and do the same thing. Apply it at the root, squeeze it. Hold it for a second and then move down. Look at that, it adds so much texture. There's already a lot of volume on that side. Now I'm going to do the back section back here at my crown. That way, whenever I do my bun and I give it a pull, I'll actually have something to pull. And I'm not gonna go all the way down with these hairs because the bottom part of my hair is gonna be in a bun. So I really only need the little bit of hair that's gonna be showing on my head to be crimped. After I crimp it, I'll kind of massage my head, massage my roots, and that helps fluff them up. So look at that, all of the volume we have just from that crimper. And it feels so much thicker too. So now that we have that, I'm going to take a section from the side and we're gonna put bubbles in my hair. I'm gonna tie off the rest of my hair just to get it out of the way. That way I'm not accidentally adding in more hair than should be added in. So I'm gonna take the first section right here, just a little bit. And I have these little tiny elastics that I like to put in my hair and use it for these because the regular hair ties are too big and too thick and way too noticeable for these type of um, like bubble braids, so I'll use these little elastics. I wouldn't tie the elastic super duper tight because you don't want it to tear your hair whenever it comes out. That is not good. Then we'll take that hair in and we'll make another section. Then we're gonna create another ponytail. All right, and then I'm just gonna repeat that and do that again. To 
taking the last little bit of hair that's hanging down. And I'm trying to remember that I'm taking my hair back like this and putting it into a braid or putting it into a bun. So I don't wanna have my bubble braid going straight down like this and keep adding hair down here because then it's gonna look weird when I go up like this. So I wanna position my hair and ponytail it like I would be putting it into a bun, if that makes sense. So I know that my bubble braid is gonna go this way. So I'm gonna hold it up this way and I'm gonna add the hair tie, hair tie in up here. It doesn't look cute right now, but it's okay because it's going up like this. So now I just have the ponytail and I'll come down a couple inches and put it down right there. Okay. And I might do that one or two more times. Now that I have all my loops in my hair, I'm gonna go back and I'm going to pull the loops to give it that bubble effect. So with this, you don't wanna take the whole section and just pull the whole section. What you wanna do is take a little bit of the top pieces and pull that. And pull the top pieces all the way around. Just a very little bit, okay? And you have a cute little bubble. Do that same thing up top. Take a little bit of the top all the way around and just pull at it very gently. Right, and then you're gonna find where your loop is and you're gonna pull back. Be careful to just pull this too and not any of these hairs down here. You don't want those to be super loose. And voila, we have our bubble braid. And the next step is going to be to make the ponytail where we want our bun to be. So I typically want my buns to be about right here. So not in the complete side, not in the complete middle, but kind of somewhat in between. Go to make my ponytail. And I'm gonna leave this out and add it in at the end. On the last loop, I'm just going to pull the ponytail through a very little bit. Creating that little loop. And then I'm gonna take my ends, since it's still a lot, I'm gonna take my ends and I'm gonna pull it halfway through. So watch this. I'm gonna take it, I'm going to twist it, then I'm going to grab the ponytail, a little bit of the ponytail, and loop it through the ponytail. So I've got the section, and now I'm only going to pull this section through halfway to create another loop. I do still have a little bit of ends. I know everybody's hair length is different, so at this point you may not have a whole lot of ends. At this point you may still have a lot, but what I usually do is I'll kind of twist these. I'm just gonna wrap it around the ponytail. Take a tiny bobby pin and pin the ends in. So, since we have the basis of our bun, we are going to take some bobby pins now. I have this cute little jar. I use this whenever I travel. All right, I always say this. I use the big bobby pins to secure the bun, and then I'll take smaller bobby pins to style it, okay? So right now I'm securing my bun, so I'm gonna be using some big bobby pins. I have a big mirror right here, so I'm gonna be looking at that. I hope you can see what I'm doing. I'm just kind of taking my loops and pinning them back and forth. I've kind of got my bun pinned in place. Now I'm just going to pull at it a little bit. I find a lot of times people want to pin their buns a lot and pin their hair down a lot 
like this side can be really pinned and this side can be bigger and instead of pulling this side they want to pin this side down no pull it a little bit that way it looks big it looks full you know you don't want your hair to be super tiny you know you want it to be voluminous you want it to be big at least i do so that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna go around the second toe and pull certain areas to make it more even and not big on this side and small on this side, you know? All right, I did go to the restroom and check my hair in there just cause I have a bigger mirror and it's a lot easier to see in there, so. My bun looks nice from what I can tell. So now it's time to add this hair in and pull this hair a little bit because I don't like it when my hair is flat against my head like that. Just personal preference, I don't like it. So I'm gonna pull it a little bit. I'm gonna pull the top pieces like that to give it some volume. Alright, that's pulled and looking a lot better in my opinion. So now I'm going to add this hair in. I'm gonna pull it tight against my head. That way this isn't super duper loose. Probably gonna pin it in place a little bit. I'm gonna stick a bobby pin in here so it'll hold and pull it. That way it's not super tight. And then I'm gonna take these end pieces and I'm gonna roll them up. I want you to be able to see and just kind of roll them all the way up and I'll just kind of stick it and pin it into the bun. So now this hair has been added in to our bun. I'll just kind of fluff up these a little bit. This keeps wanting to flop over all the way so I'll probably stick a bobby pin in there. Just take a little bit over here and pin it down and then pull it like that. Make sure all my other puffs are looking good. And then what I'll do is I'll take this section and pull it even more to give it more volume. Because you don't want these loops to be big by themselves. You want them to kind of fit in with the rest of your hair too. So pull this back part. Move this nice and tight over here on that side and over here. But since this little section is boring i'll probably go grab some clips to put in my hair over here so i've decided on three clips that i'm going to put in that little section back here all right now that those clips are in my hair is done. What I'm gonna do is, the very, very last thing, I'm gonna spray it down with some hairspray. I am using this, I think it's Kenra, Kenra, I don't know how to say it. Somebody gave this to me and I have to say, it's my absolute favorite hairspray in the whole entire world. It does not leave your hair stiff and like crunchy almost like a lot of hairsprays do i know tresme does that when i use it but this is just phenomenal works amazingly it gives volume to your hair so i'm just going to use this spray down my flyaways puff up my thingies and it doesn't even need that much Voila guys, my hair is done. I hope that you like it. Um, I'm just gonna give you a final spin, okay? The best I can because I am in a chair. Voila, I hope that you guys liked it. If you try this hairstyle, Take a picture of it and tag me. You can tag me with my Instagram. I'll leave it up here. 
send me a picture and I'll repost it to my story because I love seeing what you guys can do with these hairstyles. Make sure that you subscribe, like the video, leave a comment down below if you're gonna try this hairstyle. I have to go to church, but I hope you all have a blessed rest of your day. I'm praying for you guys always, and hey, until next time.